Welcome to Simply Naturally Simi. I am making keto cheese toasties. They're going to be cheese and tomato toasties, hence the cheese and tomato there. Uh, for my main ingredients, um, you will need 100 grams of shredded cabbage, 40 grams of green peppers, chopped finely, 45 grams of red onion, chopped finely as well you're going to need olive oil for frying i am making two servings so i'm using four eggs and you're going to need some black pepper and also uh, salt of your choice so let's get cooking in a hot pan you're going to add a tablespoon of olive oil you're then going to start off by frying your chopped onions. So you want the pan and the oil to be hot enough so that your onions don't just sit in cold oil. So you're going to fry this for a couple of minutes uh, depending on how hot your pan is. But a couple of minutes should do it. You're then going to sprinkle some Himalayan salt because I find that if you don't add salt at this stage then your onion becomes sweet so we don't want our onion to be too sweet in a savory dish you're then going to add your shredded cabbage and you're going to toss and fry that until your cabbage has sweated out and the mixture is dry so it takes about a couple of minutes of frying once you're satisfied with the cabbage you're then going to add your chopped green peppers so that's the green peppers going in so you're tossing and turning this and frying quite quickly the whole process of frying the veg should take about five minutes in total or just eyeball it and see what you're comfortable with you don't want to overcook your veg but then again you don't want to undercook it so five minutes should do it. You're then going to add more salt if you desire. I then add about a quarter to half a teaspoon of black pepper. You can add spices like paprika or garlic, but I tend to like just black pepper on eggs. So you just toss that for another minute or so and once you are happy with your mixture you're then going to place it in a bowl just to cool it down a bit because the glass bowl will be cold so placing that mixture in there will ensure that when we add our eggs it's not going to cook them before they get to the pan I tend to go in with a fork and just um, try and get the steam out as much as I can. That feather cools down the mixture and then we can then add our eggs without the fear that they are going to cook in the bowl because that would be disgusting, I think. Uh, so that's our eggs going in. So I'm using four eggs because I'm making these um, toasties for two people. I then use my whisk. To mix that together uh, you can use a fork if you do not have a whisk handy we are ready to cook our toaster so i have a pan that has got some oil still so i'm just adding um just a, a half a tablespoon of oil should do it really uh, i'm cooking on medium heat so i'm adding uh, one of my omelets in there so i've cooked this in two parts so this is my second omelet i didn't press record on my first omelet that was gutted because it turned out even more perfect than this one so you're then going to make sure that you don't have any bits that are going to burn and you cover your omelet with a lid that makes it cook on top as well as when it's cooking at the bottom you just cook that for a couple of minutes then you toss it you just want the other side to cook as well and firm up so that it's not all gooey and yucky so that cooks for about 30 seconds to a minute you're then going to flip the toaster or omelet back to its original side you want the less toasted side to be the inside of the 
omelette or toasting you're then going to stuff it with cheese I have turned off my cooker at this stage but the heat from the omelette will melt the cheese so you stuff with cheese and tomato you can stuff with cheese and some meats but I like the cheese because it binds the omelette together so that it um, closes and does not just fall apart so I'm pressing my omelette with my spatula but at this stage I am pleased with how it looks and we are going to plate up so that's our keto cheese toaster. It's cheese and tomato toaster. I've sliced mine into three triangles just to give it that sandwich kind of feel or toasty kind of feel. Um, the cheese is melty obviously because of the heat, uh, but this toaster has got an amazing texture. The cabbage gives it this bready texture. It's not just like an omelette, so I shouldn't really call this an omelette, but it holds together really well and it's just perfect as a toaster uh, replacement. I sometimes add a tablespoon of coconut flour to my egg and vegetable mix and that adds to the texture uh, but obviously the coconut flour will have a sweetness to it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you <laughs> for watching. Uh, please like, uh, please share, please comment and please subscribe.